Welcome to this Conversion News video review. Today we'll review Ideal DVD to iPod Converter and in this review we'll show you a quick overview of the tool's options and features and convert a part of a DVD to show you the results. Let's get started. When the program is started, you'll be presented with an iPod-shaped window, and on startup, the program automatically scans the DVD drives for a DVD. If no DVD is found, it shows you this message. After you click OK, you can start using the program. The layout of the program is fairly simple, with only five buttons, Menu, Options, Help, Select Folder, and Go. Let's go through the most important options that this converter gives you. In the menu, you can do a few simple things like change skins, export files, and enter a serial number. More interesting, however, is the Options button. If we click this button, a little screen opens with two tabs, General and Profile. On the General tab, you can set some basic properties and options like notifications and shutdown options. The profile, on the other hand, shows a selection of predefined profiles. These profiles are set up to match some iPod models. If you're more of an expert, you can create a profile with your own settings, or if you're not, you can just simply select a profile matching your desired settings. The Help button opens a help screen where you can read some general information about the program, but you probably won't need this because the program is very easy to use. On the opposite side of the Options button is the Select Folder button. This can be used to browse for a folder where you've placed a backup of your DVD, your homemade DVD. This allows you to open your DVD without the need to burn it to a disk first. It is also possible to browse your DVD drive if there was no disk inserted at startup. Let's convert a part of a DVD. First we'll browse to the DVD drive and you always need to select the folder called video under slash TS. Now that we've selected the folder, the program scans the files for different chapters, audio streams, and subtitles. Scanning for different audio streams and subtitles allows you to select an audio or subtitle language. As you can see, the program shows a little information about each file, like title, length, audio stream, subtitle, and a small play button. The play button plays the movie with the audio and subtitles selected to see if the selection is OK. If everything is OK, the next thing to do is to select a profile. After that, you type in the file name and browse for the folder where you'd like the file to be saved. Let's convert a small part of this DVD to show you the results. Let's take a look at the result. Now it's time for the conclusion. The only downside that we were able to find is the error message at the start when no DVD is found. This could possibly confuse users. 
But despite this minor flaw, we find that the Ideal DVD to iPod Converter is a great tool, which is easy to use for the average user, but also offers advanced features for experts. The result of the conversion is just as good as the paid alternative. Thank you for viewing this Conversion News video review. Until next time, this is Rick, signing off. Would you like a video review featuring your product? We can make a video review for you free of charge. Just visit www.conversionnews.com slash submit and fill out the application to submit your product for consideration. Chosen candidates will be notified by email. Conversionnews.com, your ultimate source for file conversions.